Dynamite! How's it going, all you guys and girls in the Illumination? Time to jump aboard the Loom Train! It's me, it's me, it's JJD, JJ Double J, the Illuminator here. That's sweet, Also known by almost countless other aliases and nicknames, but we won't get into that right now. I want to apologize for all this brightness behind me. Uh, there's nothing I can do about it. Uh, so please bear with me for the next couple of minutes, and I'll get you back to your regularly scheduled lifestyle. I want to talk today about what do you do when things stop being fun? Of course, I'm not talking about work, although that could be part of it. Um, in general, I'm talking about um, things that are hobbies or things that you do extracurricular you know, what do you do when things that used to be fun are not fun anymore? Take, for instance, I know a guy that talks about his sister, how they used to play Monopoly when they were kids. And his sister was four years younger than him. And... He's the type of person that, you know, plays to the death, you know, regardless. He doesn't care about any of that. But, um, of course, when he would be on the verge of winning because he owned most of the properties, he said that his sister would just quit the game. So he would work to have this whole big, you know, monopoly, so, you know, this conglomeration of all these properties, and she knew she was in for, she was, she was done, you know, so... So she really was done. She would just quit the game. He'd get so mad because it wasn't fun for her anymore. Because she would own, like, the two cheapest properties there. You know, Mediterranean and Baltic. You know, they, they used to be purple. I think now in the newer games they're brown. Why they changed the color, I don't know. That That's a, a story and, and, and a question for another day and another cup of coffee. But she knew things weren't fun for her anymore, so she would just quit. And he hated that, but... What do you do when the things that you're doing are no longer fun? I mean, should you continue to waste time and do it just because, you know, maybe you will start liking it again? Or do you just, you know, trudge along and, and just, you know, hope for the best? Or, or do you give up? I mean, it's a really serious thing to think about, especially if it's just hobbies or, or stuff that you know, that maybe you, you got into because you thought it was going to be a certain way and it ended up not being that way at all because a lot of times when you're on the outside, things look like they, they're, they're different until you actually jump in, you know? The old expression that says that uh, the grass is always greener on the other side. Well, that's until you actually see, you know, your own side. But that being said, what do you do? You know, I, I, I'm personally, I think that life is too short. You shouldn't waste it doing things you don't want to do. But nothing says that you have to give it up completely and sell everything and just, you know, hope for the best that way. I mean, just put it aside and, and start something else. And see what happens. That's what I think anyway. Well, I hope you're having a great day. You know, this the flannel shirts, it's like this time of year. You're in a tank top one day and, and, and flannel shirts the next. It's just crazy. I love you all. Take care. Stay safe. This is the Illuminator. And I'll be back. Make yourself useful and get me more porridge. You're worse than my three wives.